Thank you so much for joining this lesson. We're going to continue with Mathematics Paper 2 Revision, the KCC 2024 examination. Remember, the paper has already been uploaded in this channel. So if you have not watched, kindly uh, look at uh, the live stream lessons. You discover that uh, we've discussed all these questions. So we are just doing a continuation. And that will be from number 13. So all these questions have been discussed. Kindly find time to follow in our live stream lessons. So now we're going to, yeah, number 14 is here. Remember to subscribe to this platform and to also share the link with friends. Number 14 is on uh, vector 2. We are told that uh, the position vectors of points A, B, C are that OA equals to 3i minus 5j minus 4k, OB equals to j plus 8k, and OC equals to negative 2i plus 5j plus 16k. Show that the points A, B, and C are collinear. Show that the points A, B, and C are collinear. Solution. For you to show collinearity, you have to show that uh, any vectors or any two vectors expressed from the points A, B, and C are parallel and that they are sharing a common point. So we can extract any two vectors from the points A, B, and C. Any two vectors. For example, we can get vector A, B. Vector A, B will be given by B minus A. That is what you should know. So B minus A is going to be, we can express them now as column vectors. So B, which is here, is a column vector. Remember, I as zero because in B we are not having the X component. So we give it a zero. That is why it has not been indicated. Then J, which represents the Y, is one and eight for the Z. Minus, when we talk about A now, we also make it a column vector, three minus five minus four. This one now is going to be negative three. Uh, this will be positive six, yeah. Then positive 12. That is the, the column vector a b we can also get another vector within the same coordinates uh, for example we can talk about a uh, a c vector a c will only be given by c minus a so the position of c can be written as a column vector it is here so negative two five 16. Then we subtract. When we talk about A, we will be having 3, negative 5, and negative 4. Now we compute this, and we're going to get negative 2 minus 3, which is negative 5, then 5 minus negative 5, which is 5 plus 5, getting a 10, then 16 minus negative 4 becomes plus 4, and this will be 20. So now after getting the two vectors, we have to confirm whether they are, or one is a scalar multiple of the other. That way they will be parallel. Let's check whether there is a constant that can multiply AB to give us AC. That means if we take a constant which is unknown by vector AB, which is negative 3, 6 and 12. Then we equate these two. Negative 5, 10, 20. Then we can check whether the constant will be the same throughout. From the x component, we can see that uh, negative 3k 
equals to negative 5, whereby the value of k becomes 5 out of 3. Uh -huh. from, the, from the y, we can see that uh, 6k is going to be equal to 10. That means when we divide through by 6, it will also simplify to 5 over 3. And when we use the, the z, we discover that uh, 12k is equivalent to 20. When you divide it through 20 over 12, it will still simplify to 5 over 3. Therefore, there is a scalar multiple which relates vector AB and vector AC. So we can now write it. Because we have known what k is, we can say that uh, vector, okay, 5 over 3 vector AB gives us vector AC. Or the same statement can be given as AB is equal to 3 out of 5. You take one start to the other side of AC. 3 out of 5 of AC. So now, now that we can see the scalar multiple, we can say that eh, vector A, B is parallel to AC. And among the two vectors, or yeah, between the two vectors, we can see that point A is appearing in both. So A is a common point. A is a common point. Hence, a, B, and C are collinear. So now we have shown collinearity by showing that uh, two vectors are parallel to one another and they are sharing a common point. As we go to number 15, it's good I remind you of our program here. You can access airtime by going to your M-Pesa, the Lipana M-Pesa option, then uh, the pay bill number. You enter the business number 737356. Then the account is the phone number that you'd like to purchase airtime for. After you've entered the account number, now you can proceed to, to feed in the amount you'd like to spend. Then you complete the transaction. The airtime is going to reflect instantly. So that is how you can easily access airtime from our services. Utilize and invite your friends. We can now continue in number 15. A particle starts from point O and moves in a straight line so that its velocity V in meters per second after time T seconds is given by the expression V equals to 9T squared minus 18T plus 10. Calculate the distance covered by the particle between the time t equals to 1 second and t equals to 2 seconds. We know very well that uh, when given the velocity function, we can get the distance function by integrating. This is because velocity function is usually the gradient of a distance function. So we are having the distance, we are having a, the gradient function, or rather the differentiated function of distance time graph. So for us to get back the distance time graph, we have to integrate. So now that we are given the limits within which we would like to get the distance, then it will be a definite integral. So we will be integrating for us to get simply, for us to get displacement, we need to integrate velocity. So in our case now, we will be integrating from 1 to 2 the function 9t squared minus 18t plus 10. This is with respect to time. So now we can perform the integration. Uh, the power of t in the first case, the power of t in the first case increases to 3 and the power the new power divides the whole term so 9 over 3 times t squared simplifies to 3t power 3 minus the power of t increases to power 2 in the second term 
such that we have t squared and the new power divides the whole term. So 18 divided by 2 becomes 9 and t is already squared. Then here we shall introduce t now because the, the power of t is 0. So now it becomes t power 1 plus the arbitrary constant of integration from 1 to 2. Now we substitute 2, then we substitute 1 and we subtract. So 3 into 2 power 3 minus 9 into 2 power 2 plus 10 into 2 plus C. Then minus, when we substitute 1 to be 3 into 1 power 3 minus 9 power 1 squared plus 10 into 1 plus the arbitrary constant the arbitrary constant okay now from the first expression we're going to get 8 plus c then we subtract 4 plus c the constant cancels out and now we remain with 8 minus 4 giving us 4 being a distance, it will be meters. Four meters. Remember to subscribe to this channel and to also share the link so that you may invite your friends. Thank you.